Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4, where Bobby and I are contemplating doing some things, like going to war and whatnot. If you go to war with somebody, I'll come help you, um, if you want. Otherwise, well, um... can you get to, uh, if you... Let's see here, you are... Can you, uh... I can get anywhere. I can get access yeah. through Tunis, or I can just use my boats and ferry troops. Um, I True. was thinking about going to war in Europe here, but then, you know, I've, I've come to the realization that there's actually only, like, two more episodes left in this particular series. So, mm -hmm. um, it might be better spent helping you in a war or something instead of us waging two separate wars. You want to uh, you want to go after uh, the Byzantines? I, I I would help with that. Let me. Why don't you let me get some troops in place first? Yeah. Um, what are to, what's uh, let's see what's the Byzantines army and navy look like? Let's see here. Army Byzantium Byzantium forty three thousand. No, oh, well forty two thousand of them are in one spot. <laughs> Um, they're actually over have, their force do, limit. Um, do you have a tactical nuke? Uh, no, but I uh, have, um, let's see, how many? I have 128,000 troops. All right, so let me get... Let's see, uh, what's I, Byzant Byzantium have as far as a navy goes? 51. Um, you have a pretty big navy. I do, yes. I have a pretty big navy. I'm going to move my troops into Africa. All right. Um, before we I'm do this. I'm going to construct some cavalry. Oh, that's not going to be 100% easy. I don't think I have transports anymore. Um, Wait, uh, isn't there a setting to allow you to use my transports? Uh, I don't know. We might have to be at war. I will just build some. It won't take too terribly long. Um, let's see. I can take an idea here. I shouldn't take any admin ideas. I'm actually behind on admin tech. Now, all my provinces oh, need, are in the uh, process of being cored, so... Boost stability. A royal marriage offer from Naples. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Had Jazz reactionaries? Are they... They crossed my border. Well, as long as they're not attacking my... What's that? Sorry, not... oh. oh, nothing. Wait. I thought uh, some... I thought uh, one of my provinces... I was just making sure one of my provinces wasn't being... Uh, sieged. Not? have transports anywhere where are all my boats you do you have any transports all right so we got five new cavalry no. members here and this particular army is rather short on cavalry so we'll send them over here to join i have zero transports it's really annoying it's gonna take a long time for me to Oh, Ferry kind of... 60,000 troops across the Strait of Gibraltar. This one has a ton of cannons. I'll move these guys. Uh... Uh oh, they moved a lot of... Uh, the Byzantines moved a lot of their troops. Well, I'm not concerned. They're technically at war. Um, uh... With K Kiev, Bohemia, and Serbia. Oh. I thought they were allied with Serbia just a minute ago. What's with the, what national revolt in Portugal? Ah, fine. You can have autonomy. I don't want to deal with unrest. This game's almost over. <laughs> mm. I got some. Oh, I got some money rolling in finally. I don't know what's up with that. Um. Boats are building. This is taking a while. Let's just move these troops uh, down here. 
get them ready to move across. So, I'm going to be bringing, uh, a, a, basically a metric ton of troops. <laughs> Too bad I can't be in your territory when we declare war. Wait a minute, my sultan, the province of Trebizond is only one of our core provinces. Others may have that worthless piece of land, minus 10 prestige. What? We have lost the reconquest caucus belly didn't. Oh, oh I guess you, you had uh, a CB expire or something like that. Yeah. No, I guess I lost one of my. I, I guess when Byzantine attacked before I started playing or something. Yeah, or something. Who knows? So they're at war with Kiev. Where, where's Kiev? It should be. There's Bohemia. There's Yeah, I see Bohemia. And Serbia is right next to them. I don't Kiev. know where Kiev... Oh, there's Kiev. Like a tiny little sliver of a country oh. between Hungary and Poland. Between... It's really weird. Really? Okay, I've got some boats now. We can move Hungary. troops across. Oh, Kiev! Oh, I thought that... That looked like a lake. And then dawning on me, it's like, oh. Um, there is no lake there. Yeah, it's like a two-province, tiny yeah. little... <laughs> country uh, in between. It's really weird. I've never seen Kiev form before. Hmm. Right. Serbia and maybe. Croatia lasted a lot longer than they usually do. Like, typically, the Ottomans just eat Serbia right away. Because the Ottomans start out at war with Albania. Like, that's the Ottoman start, is they're at war with Albania, and they usually win that and just steamroll right into Serbia. Mm. And it looks like Croatia actually beat Bosnia. Bosnia. Which is kind of weird. We're, um... What are you? What are you gonna pick as your war goal? Oh, I should probably fabricate a claim or something like that. Shouldn't you I? might have claims already. Um, actually, it looks like you don't. So you might want to fabricate a claim. Well, let's get some claim fabrication going here. I can only fabricate... Can I fabricate more than one claim? No, you can only fabricate uh, one. Uh, I would probably fabricate it on Biga. Uh, yes, I did. And then maybe, like, take Biga and then force them to release, like, a nation or something out of what they own over here in the rest of... They can probably, like... Syria's in there, Iraq is in there, um, mm -hmm. there's some other countries in there that you can probably force them to release and then quickly either vassalize, and then quickly just, like, vassalize whatever they release. Seems like a pretty good plan. It's kind of what I've been doing in my, uh, in, in my Ottomans game. Just, like, slowly dismantling Karak and Yulu. Although, they're pretty much dismantled now. In fact, I think they're a Timurid vassal in that game. So, I was thinking, um, for our next series in this, which is going to, you know, start soon. Um, mm -hmm. and that'll be on the new expansion. I was thinking maybe, like, custom nations in Asia. Okay. 
because we're kind of experimenting with the custom nations in Europe right now in in that one game. Mm -hmm. But I think custom nations maybe in Asia could be interesting. Or we could just do Europe. Either either way, I, I kind of want to do custom nations, just not random nations. Okay. My armies that I'm bringing are in... Um, they are in... Africa now. Just need to sign some military leaders here. And they should be in position. I should probably get military access from Tunis a while. Um and probably get from you again. There we go. Okay, so I should be good to go whenever you have your claim. Um, although we'll probably want to consolidate our boats. Um, okay. And in fact, we'll probably want to place a whole bunch of boats in um, whatever this sea tile is that has the two straight crossings here. Because mm -hmm. if you if we siege those or blockade those, they won't be able to wow. use the straight crossings. Yeah, I already got the I got I already got it, my main naval force here in the uh, Sea of or in the G and C. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of ships. I, I will... Just let me know when you're getting close, and I'll tell my ships to stop protecting trade and bring them that way. You have another, like, fleet of 28 over here that are just kind of sitting and doing nothing, too. Oh, wait, no, that's Tunis. Never mind. Uh, Looking at Tunis, they... not you. Weird. Um, actually, I've got some... I've got some larger ships here, six larger ships here. Actually, we're going to bring them into the GNC here. How's your so uh, claim coming along? 68%. Okay, it's not bad. So, so wait a minute, that's... What's the... Alright, did X or left click to detach all units of this... First of all, okay, so we're going to merge, and then I want to detach. What did I do? <laughs> Hold on here. Merge. There we go, and then we're going to send you guys to protect trade. Yeah, there's, it, yeah, if, this fleet will add 29.96 trade power to Apple Apo. This will increase the trade value from $9.66 to $24.87. Yours are sitting in the Aegean Sea, right? Yes, I've got... You probably want to sit them in... What is that? The Sea of... Marmar. That tiny little space, like, right in there where all the boats are moving through from... Oh, okay. The Black Sea. Because that's where the straight crossings are. I don't even know... What the Byzantine... What does the Byzantine flag even look like? Oh yeah, they've got like 45, 50 some odd boats in there. Just floating around. So before you go to war, you're going to want to take all these little fleets you have floating around and either stack them all up or put them in port. Because otherwise, any of their fleets that are floating or are around might snag them and kill them. Yeah, let me get my... 
Yeah, I just got my claim here, so I will... Okay, uh, so you've got your claim. I will uh, bring my navy over, and I will stick my 88 boats in the Aegean Sea. Actually, I should... Hang on, I'm going to send them, actually, send them back to port and hire an admiral. Oh, yeah, I should probably hire them an admiral also. And then we can go to war. Hire an admiral, please. And you're a terrible admiral, but you will you will do. Back to the Aegean Sea. Yeah, just be, uh, keep all your, your military troops fairly, like, close to each other. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's gonna take me a while to get my troops there. I'm gonna have to okay. space them out so they don't stack up as they're trying to walk. And take, uh, like, overextension attrition and whatnot. You do have to march, like, 80... 93,000 troops around the Mediterranean. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So my... I want to select uh, start patrolling, right? No. Just, no? You just okay. want to leave them sit there. I will just leave them sitting there. Um, and mine are no. just sitting in the Aegean Sea. I see them. Um, we just All may right. have to, like... I may have to... We're going to want to watch the, the boats here quick because when this starts. Because they have like 55,000 here. They have a lot here that are moving back and forth. So we may need to like... Re I may need to reinforce you or you may need to reinforce me. Depending. Okay. All right. So let's watch I'm... our boats and select your navy. We'll see what we need to do before you do... All right. Whenever you're ready to declare war, go for I it. I am ready to declare war. Make sure you call me in. Okay. <laughs> Take Baja. And... Uh, it says Tunis or Oman. Oh, I didn't realize Oman was my uh, ally when I... Hmm. See, it says Moldova probably won't join, but oh, they're allied with Russia. Oh, who is? Uh, these guys are the Byzantines. The Byzantines. No, they're not. It says enemy allies, Russia. Which says allied with Moldova and Circassia. And I'm. I'm looking at <laughs> Byzantium right now. No, oh, maybe it's Defender of the Faith or something. Yeah, uh, this is, uh, yeah. Russia will not be considered a coalition in this war. They will not be able to call their own Hover alliances. over it. Does it. What's the reason it says that they're going to join? Or scroll uh, down on the left side there. Somewhere it says the reason that they will join. Uh, oh, Russia is Defender of the Orthodox Faith and will protect them. Yeah. That's not so do we still? surprising. Yeah, do let's do it. Whatever. And we're, okay. We are like 25, 30 minutes of recording away from the series being over. So, you know, right. YOLO. Okay, I YOLO. am fighting. You might want to reinforce me. Okay. So bring your troops over to mo your boats over to that my 88. Um... Oh, I think we beat them. All right, I'm walking into Baja. Okay. Um. Oh, get your get your boats back in the in that yeah. spot. So keeps them from coming across. I am uh, moving my troops towards you. 
The Russians will probably come through Circassia. So we will have to be wary of that. Um, yeah, just keep your troops, like, near each other so that they can, um, yeah, so that they can, you know, do whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... Oh, I actually have a province that is being sieged. Yeah, they, they, they came in, Circassia mm. came in from the other side. Um, I am on my way, roughly. It's just going to take a while. I wonder if that's most of their military. Circassia, it might yeah. be, yeah. Um, my troops are moving that way. Okay. I am going to split my navy in half here and just kind of do some cleanup work here in the Mediterranean. <laughs> okay, so there oh, is 41,000 Byzantine uh. troops. They're moving towards you, so, you know, be careful. How do you tell which direction they're I'm going? I'm just watching them walking. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Well, I could have done that. I thought they're literally. Can see... Well, you can if you hover over it. It says like right there. It says will arrive in. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. So they're moving. Yeah, just get ready. They're gonna. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, they're heading. Looks like they're the... heading towards your troops on big. Uh, get ready to reinforce uh, with your other stack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should reinforce yeah, right go. now. Yep. Reinforcing. All right, but that'll do it for... Let me, actually, let me pause it. That'll do it for this episode. If you like the video, click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for some more EU4. Thanks for watching. Bye.